Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Kim. I am a community learning specialist with Do Space. And today uh, for our after school club for, uh, for Wednesday, um, we are doing Make It. So um, let's, today is our, oops, there we go. Today is our um, Make It days for our older kids. Um, and today we are going to be uh, continuing our um, conversation about uh, circuits. So last week we talked about what a circuit was. It was a path in which electricity flows and how, like, how we use circuits. So basically, we use circuits basically every day in our lives, right? We have circuits that go with our phone, our computers, our light switches, anywhere that if there's electricity, a circuit is involved. Um, you know, but, but uh, we have been talking about pretty simple circuits. So um, we did a video, uh, we watched a video last week, and then we put together um, circuits with um, with lights, with LEDs, with noisemakers, with a motor. And so if you are interested in watching that video, just to get up, that will that will be on our website at dospace.org and also at our DoSpace YouTube channel. So you can always get back and watch that. Um, today we are going to kind of carry on learning about what a circuit is. And um, we're going to be talking about two different types of circuits today. So we're, they're both the circuits, path energy is um, electricity, and um, those electrons are going to be passing through our, um, our circuits today. But we are going to be learning about two different ones, um, a parallel circuit and a series circuit. And what are the differences? And um, how to then create them using, um, I'm using squishy circuits again, because I just think they're so fun. Um, and I think they just are, are really easy to use. And I think they're a really good visual on how to, um, how circuits work. So let's get started. So we are going to first talk about a series circuit. What is a series? So a series uh, circuit, it connects components one right after another um, to basically form a single loop. Because right, um, a circuit is basically a large circle, a large loop in which that electricity and uh, those electrons are flowing uh, to an, some kind of output, a light, a motor, something like that. Um, and this, you know, if there's multiple components, so multiple lights or multiple outputs, um, things like that, then the, um, it just, the a series was when they're like connected one run right after another and they just kind of make a continuous loop that's formed. And if you break one part of that series circuit, it's going to stop the flow of electricity, the current, which then the, um, so it's kind of like an all or nothing. Um, if, uh, if there's any break in our, our circuit, um, which means it's an open circuit. We talked about that a little bit last week, an open circuit, which you have to have circuits to be closed uh, for your output to work. And um, so if we have an open circuit at any point with a series, then we're not getting that continuous flow. That electricity isn't getting to all the components. Um, so none of the components work basically. So you can kind of see, uh, I have a few examples. So you can kind of see on the slower part, we have our batteries down here. You can kind of see this loop where we have a light one right after another. And this is kind of the schematic of it. Um, again, we can see over here, um, uh, cause again, we talked about how our, a lot of times, um, we need three components for our, our circuits, right? We need a power source, a battery, or some kind of electric, where our electrons are coming from, our electrical source. We need wires, and we need then an output. So an LED, a motor, something that does something. And so you can see here we have our battery, and we talked about this where every battery has a positive end or a negative end. They're polarized. Um, and there's polarization, so a positive and negative end, and we can see our um, kind of our flow, our current goes from the positive side through our wires, and then we have in our series circuit here, we have our three lights. So it's going to our positive, to our negative, and then over here is our little switch. Um, and again, if there was a break right here, if there I was a break right here, if there was a break right here, if there was a break right here, if there's any breaks in our circuit, none of the lights are going to work. Um, so, uh, 
An example of that is kind of like old inexpensive string holiday lights. Um, you know, if there was, you kind of knew back in the day if there were, if, um, if there was a break in circuit because none of your lights, you would plug it in and none of your light bulbs would work out. Um, I believe anymore they are um, a parallel so that, and we'll talk about um, kind of the difference in that. Uh, so yeah, so let's really quickly talk about a parallel circuit. So a parallel circuit, um, it divides kind of into branches, right? So it divides into two or more branches and that um, because it um, kind of branches off the, the current that of the electricity divides and flows through each of those branches. So basically, um, it you know, like we talked about in our, in our series circuit, there's any break in our circuit, none of the lights work, none of the outputs work. But in a parallel circuit, if one, uh, if we get a break in like one of the wires, that doesn't mean um, all of the components are uh, completely put or completely they don't work. All the, so, um, so some of them can and will remain on. So um, this basically means that each of the components are getting um, their own electrical source, whereas the series, in series, it was based off of like you know, the constant flow from one going, getting to the other, getting to the other, whereas in a parallel, each output is getting their own kind of um, source from the electricity. So you can kind of see here, um, kind of, if it makes a little bit more sense. So like we have this in our schematic, we have our battery. Um, we, you can see our batteries are up here. And then we have, you know, from our positive to our negative side, we have uh, each, there's wires basically coming, if you look at like the picture, we have wires coming to each light. And so um, basically, the, um, they're, own, they're all getting kind of their own path because the path, is, that's what a series is, right? Or a circuit is. It's the path in which electricity flows. So each of these components are getting their own path uh, to the electrical source. So an example of that are like light switches or outlets. Um, you know, a lot of times um, if one doesn't work, it doesn't necessarily mean that the other won't work. Um, so, um, you know, you can think of it a lot, of, a lot of times or not even like not work, but like or open and close. So like if you think about it as um, if you have in a bedroom or in a room that has light and a fan, a lot of times you can see on the wall with the, the, the um, flip panels, right? The switch panel, uh, you might have one that's specifically for the light that you can turn off and on, and then one that's specifically for the fan that you can turn off and on. So they can both be on, they can both be off, but one can also be on. So like the light can be on and the fan be, can be off, or opposite, the fan can be on and the light can be off. And that's because they're parallel. So those switches cause it to be open and closed. And so that, but they're par there's a parallel. So it allows um, there to be kind of a mixture, you know, of, of things to happen um, with your outputs. And so that's kind of an example of that. Um, so we are going to, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to create our own, um, our own examples of how uh, these work. So you can kind of get a real life idea of how they work. So I'm going to, uh, these are the materials I have for us today. So um, again, you might have some of these materials, maybe you don't, and that's okay. Um, you can always, uh, you know, we like, again, like I said, we are going to be posting our videos on our website at juicebase.org and at our YouTube page. So um, if you are watching it there, you can always pause and, you know, take a day or two to get some of the um, materials and then always come back. So things you're gonna need. So we are, you're needing some conductive dough. So right now I have, oh, um, let me switch my camera really quickly so you can see. There we go. Um, so I have, so I, we need some conductive dough. So I have just some Play-Doh um, as, 
but you can also, if you go to the Squishy Circuits website, they actually even have a recipe to make conductive dough. What makes it conductive is the, um, like the salt in it. I saw that um, a lot of times is um, kind of, you can create it so that it is, um, kind of has a electrolyte and so which creates those electrons to flow. So I, today I, am, I just have two different colors of Play-Doh with me. Um, you need some LED bulbs. I have on our list uh, three to four, but obviously you can have more. I, I have quite a few more. Um, you need a battery holder. So I have actually the Squishy Circuits brand. Um, and I like these because they have the metal terminals that are really nice. Um, to like put into Play-Doh, or if you have alligator clips like what we used last week, they're really easy to clip onto, um, and they have a nice flat metal surface, a lot of connectivity to it. And then you need AA batteries, or batteries, like, you know, whatever kind of batteries you need uh, for it. So I have, we have four AA batteries that go into our squishy circuit battery holder. So, I mean, you could basically do this any kind, um, so last week I had a two, um, a two AA battery holder. I actually have another example of how you can um, potentially do it if you want to try this out. Um, this is like a nine volt battery um, kind of adapter. So I have this uh, a nine volt. And so you can just kind of clip it on. And then uh, we have our wire ends um, exposed. Now this doesn't have too much exposure, but if you had, you know, maybe some scissors or some wi um, wire strippers, you could obviously kind of uh, take off a little bit of this black and red insulation uh, to help you out with that. Um, so yeah, so that's just an, another example of how you can um, use a uh, different batteries. So you don't necessarily have to have a double A battery holder with double A batteries. Um, you can do different options as well. Um, you just want to make sure you're not like you have too much voltage because then your bat, your LED lights can only take so much voltage um, and they might pop. So you don't want to do that. And so that's basically all you need for your, uh, for our project today is just a couple of batteries, some Play-Doh um, and some LED lights and a holder. So let me, so let's get started. So let's start with, I'm gonna start with our uh, parallel first. Um, so our parallel, um, and I'm gonna, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna move our nine volt battery and I'm going to move our little uh, Play-Doh balls for the time being. And I am going to kind of give us an example of a parallel. So you can see here I have two um, kind of uh, logs, I guess, uh, kind of long rounds of Play-Doh and these are going to act as kind of like our wires and so I'm actually going to go back so um so these are going to act like our wires so these are going to act like the individual um connectors to our LEDs so what I'm going to do is um so uh, like we talked about last week for a lot of times with um you know when we're talking about circuits and electrical parts a lot of times red is um, uh, for our positive and black is for our negative. And so, um, you know, our kind of like our, uh, let's see where it does, oh, this, this kind of um, picture in our series, I'm just gonna go back to, we're gonna be talking about a parallel, but just the night, I like this picture in our series because it kind of reiterates how the electrons flow within a circuit. So they always flow from the positive end of our battery through the wires, through the components, back to the negative end of our battery. Um, and so that is um, why, so, go back. Um, so that's why we need to have a lot of times our components, like our wires, uh, colored. So we know like which uh, way, like, you know, this is our positive. So our batteries, our electrons are gonna be flowing through our positive and then come back through our negative. So 
I also have, I have only, I have red and yellow, but just to keep things easier, I'm going to put our, my red Play-Doh on my red uh, wire terminal. And then I'm going to put my yellow one on my black or negative uh, wire terminal. So, so then you can see how those are nice and set up. Okay, so you can see in our, um, in our picture, each of our LEDs have their own source of power going to it. So I am going to, I'm gonna move this up so you can kind of see this a little bit better. There we go. So I have all of our LEDs and we talked about this a little bit last week, but our LEDs are also polarized. So you can kind of see, I know this is a little bit hard, we just fit the lighting, but there we go. Um, you can kind of see how one of the leads, one of the legs is longer than the other. You can see that this one is a little bit longer than this one. So this left one is a little bit longer than this right one. And that um, that is purposeful. That is so it allows us to know that this longer lead is the positive lead and this shorter leg, leg is the negative lead. And so, um, so we want to make sure that um, we have positive to positive and negative to negative. Otherwise, it will not work. So I'm going to kind of spread the leads or the legs of my uh, LED out. And I'm just going to stick the long leg or the long lead into one side. And so, and I don't have this on yet. So I have it off. You can see how that says off on our battery holder. And then I'm going to turn it on. And oh, oh, sometimes you have to, oh my goodness. There we go. So you can see that our light is working. Yay. So we, we basically just made a circuit, just a basic circuit. But now if we add more of our LEDs, making sure our positive to positive and negative to negative. You can see that, should see that our second light turned on and we can do it with a third. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can make it so you can kind of see them all. And then let's see if we can get a different color. I have a lot of white ones. <laughs> That's okay. So you can kind of see how I have our four. One, two, three, four. And they're all the same brightness, right? Because basically each of these is getting their own, they have their own path. Uh, each have their own separate path uh, from the battery to the LEDs. Um, so basically that means like they're all getting the same uh, voltage. So they have the same amount. So voltage is the measure of electricity getting to a, an output. So they're all getting the same voltage. They're all getting the same amount of electricity um, to them. And, but that basically means then our batteries so this, our lights will stay on pretty long and they're all the same nice and bright, but that means that'll drain our battery out. So our batteries won't last as long as if, if there was only three or two or even one. So now like there's just two, our batteries will last a little bit longer. The more we add, the quicker our battery is going to drain because it's using more electrons. So it, it's using more voltage. So that is our example of a parallel, uh, a, pa a parallel circuit. And so, like I said, a lot of times, um, you know, you know, I give the example of a light switch with a fan and a light, you know, um, and or an outlet, things like that. Those are a lot of times parallel. And today, even today, you know, I gave the example for a series like old uh, holiday lights were. Uh, used to be series, but now anymore they're kind of parallel. So if one, you know, if one it was to like 
die or pop off or something or break, it's not going to ruin the rest of the lights. You know, that one will just be uh, burnt out and the rest will move on. So anymore, a lot of art times or holiday lights are in a parallel circuit and not a series circuit. You don't have to go in search of that one because if they, <laughs> if they don't light up, then you're, then you're having to check each and every individual light bulb, right? And on a string of lights, that could take a long, long time. So thankfully, we don't have to do that anymore. So that's an example of a parallel circuit. So let's do a series. So we have, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to turn my guy off because I just want to make sure that we're staying safe because we don't want these terminals to touch while electricity is flowing through them. Um, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make a series. And so basically, like I said, it's going to be, um, um, you know, the outputs one right after another. So basically the difference is that um, it starts out with the same voltage, but as it's going through each of the outputs, as it's going out through each of our lights, uh, the voltage is like that measure, that current is going to go down. So our lights are going to become dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. So let's set this up. So we have our, I'm going to um, bring our, so I have three balls of our Play-Doh and I'm going to put in one and then I'm going to put our negative and our positive and then I'm going to have kind of just a ball in the middle. And so instead of you know, like on our parallel, well, they each get their own line. We're going to set up in a series. So I, we are going to need, so we have, again, we need our positive and negative. So um, I have our LED again with our positive longer leg and our negative shorter leg or lead. So basically, and when you're, when it's set up in a series, you want to make sure it's, you're doing positive to negative, positive to negative. So our, so we're starting out, this is our positive, right? We have our positive red and I had our long lead. So I'm going to put our short lead in there, but now I'm going to put the, I have my second light and I'm going to put our long lead into this one and our short lead, I think that should be, yeah, into this one. And you can see how we've made then a series. I want to make sure those are nice and connected. So now you can see how we have two or more, but they're in a series. They're, they're you know, it's, this one is going to be dependent on this one getting, you know, the electricity, the current is going to need, it's all dependent on everything. So if I turn this on, oh, you could barely, barely see it. You could barely see it because it's a series. Oh, I think you can, let's see if I turn that off and on. I don't know if you can tell or not. I can just see the light going on. Maybe if I get a different color. Let's see if I can get different color light. I had a purple one. Let's see. Uh, those are positive. Let's see if I, I should have checked our LEDs. They're kind of all in a box. They're nice and big, which is why I want to use them. Um, They're barely turning on, which kind of speaks to the series of it, like, right? So in our parallel, they each had their own, but for some reason, this should be, it should, be, this one should be brighter than this one. So, you can kind of see, so I have it, <laughs> I've made it so where these two are touching, which is why this light turned on. Um, let's see, you can 
see this one flickering. Ah, well, I'm so sorry about this. This is kind of, this is sometimes the thing with like when you're trying new experiments like this, right? I had it working. I'm not sure why it's not. Well, you know what? I have a different example. I have some alligator clips so we can, we can test out our, um, this with our alligator clips. So I'm going to just take away the, the Play-Doh. And we're gonna just use some alligator clips and see if that works out a little bit better for us. So again, like these alligator clips because they just clip really nicely and tightly on. And then I'm just going to clip this on so it's nice. And then we have this one. It's gonna get a little bit messy just because they're alligator clips and a little bit on the, you know, long side. There we go. Okay. So now if we were to do this, if I clip on this, then our, whoa, our light really turns on bright, doesn't it? Lice and lice and bright. We got a full power going on to it. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. And so I have, and then I'm going to then, so I have it from our positive to negative, and then I'm going to go positive to negative, or negative lead, and then I'm going to clip this onto our pause or negative. So I'm going to adjust everything just so everything's in the frame. And hopefully you can kind of see the series at work. It's a little bit, so we start out here and it goes whoop, to our positive lead of this LED and then our negative to our positive, negative to our negative. So let's see. Okay, so we got them both to work. So that is so, and they're actually both pretty bright. So the more we add, like if I were to add a third one, let's add a third one and see what happens and see if we can get the, um, it's gonna get confusing. I'm trying to find, we'll just do another red one, right? Okay. So this is where you have to make sure, cause you have to, you, yeah, you want to make sure we have our positive and negative, positive and negative. So we end it with our negative. I'm going to go to our positive leg or a positive lead. And then I'm going to go negative. So we're just going to do this until we can maybe see how the lights get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Okay, do we have everything? Yep. Okay. Ah, uh, something is not right. Well, there you go. I turn this on, and this just gives an example of like when one thing doesn't work, they all don't work, right? So in our parallel, I was taking them in and out, and we could see how they work. This, something is not right, so it's not working. So now we have to kind of go back and see where we messed up. So it might be, I might have miscalculated our leads. So no, that's definitely positive. That's nice and tight on there. And that's definitely, so that means that's nice and tight. Let's try that one more time. Huh. Let's see. Well, we know our battery source is working. Seems good, that seems good. We don't have any short circuits. Interesting, so maybe that means this isn't working. So we know this worked, right? Yep, you know this is working because our light's going on. Maybe it's our LED. Let's try our, uh, 
Maybe for some reason our LED is acting wonky. So we got our positive to negative. And then we're going back here. Huh. Maybe it is our alligator clip. Let me switch out our alligator clip to a different one. Here we are. Okay. Okay, let's try this one more time. Well, maybe we just don't have enough current for all of them to go through, and that's why it's not working. But we do know that at least if we go to this one, it still works, right? So boom. So if we were able to, this kind of kind of speaks to that. So um, it should though, it should have been where this one lit up and this was a little less and then this one, the third one was a little less, but they were all not working. So I'm not really sure why, but that maybe whenever you try it, you'll have a little bit more success, but we can still see how it's in a series, right? We have multiple going around. Um, yeah, so that is um, on my, this is, just our example of how series versus parallel work. And so I want you to this week, maybe, um, you know, if, look around, see if you can uh, guess, or maybe even look up different uh, other examples of what series uh, L uh, circuits are and what parallel circuits are. I would imagine most are parallel because obviously if you have uh, one power source lighting up a lot of different items, you wouldn't want it as a series, right? Because um, you wouldn't want a break in one part of, this, of the uh, circuit to affect everything else. Um, and that's kind of how the series works. Um, but yeah, so maybe look up different examples and um, try this for yourself. See if you can uh, make your own parallel and series circuits. So thank you for joining me today for our Make It Afternoon, uh, our After School Club Wednesday program. And um, next week we are actually gonna be doing a little bit more project-based. Um, I can actually share, switch screen so you can see me. Yeah, so next week we're going to be doing a little bit more project-based. Next week we are going to be making paper circuits. So we are going to, um, you know, now going to be implementing our circuits into more project-based things um, from now on. And so next week we are going to be making paper circuits. So, um, you know, a little light-up card, which is really fun. We're gonna, it's going to involve copper tape and LEDs and um, little coin cell batteries. And it's a lot of fun to do. So I hope you guys can join me then. Have a good rest of your afternoon, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.